Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will be doing the CSEC mid CSEC biology mid June 2018 paper one. This is part two video. So if you miss watching part one, there's a card somewhere on this video or you can check in the description below to watch part one. And please give this video a thumbs up by pressing the like button. So let's get into this part two video. So 31 says, under which conditions will the rate of transpiration in plants be highest? A, sunny and low wind speed. B, sunny and high wind speed. C, cloudy and low wind speed. D, cloudy and high wind speed. So the answer would be B, sunny and high wind speed. So let's get into 32 now. Thirty-two. It says, persons who suffer from kidney disease are most likely to have A, a decreased concentration of glucose in the blood, B, an increased concentration of glucose in the blood, C, a decreased concentration of urea in the blood, or D, an increased concentration of urea in the blood. The answer for 32 would be D. Let's go to number 33 now. Locomotion is important to animals for one, avoiding predators, two, acquiring food and shelter, three, reproduction. So the answer for 33, it would be D, all of them. Let's go to number 34. So item 34 refers to the following diagram of a flower and we have four parts. So which of the labeled parts is responsible for the production of male gametes or gametes, some of you may pronounce it. So the answer is actually at two, B would be the answer. Let's go to number 35. The best description for the role of excretion in living organisms is to A, produce urine, B, produce feces, C, get rid of toxic waste, D, get rid of excess water. So the answer for 35 would be C, get rid of toxic waste. Let's go to number 36. The role of an effector is to A, detect a, sim a stimulus, B, respond to a stimulus, C, create a nerve impulse, or D, relay a nerve impulse. So the answer for 36 would be B, respond to a stimulus. 37, which of the following diagrams shows the correct direction in which a nerve impulse passes through a reflex arc? So there we have our diagrams. So, which one of these would be our answer? So we know it would be A. Let's go to number 38. Which of the following phrases correctly describes trophic movement in plants? A, irreversible, whole or part movement. B, reversible, whole or part movement. C, irreversible, growth or part movement. D, reversible, growth or part movement. So 38, it would be C, irreversible growth or irreversible growth or part movement. C, let's go to number 39. It says, which of the following options best describes the term stimulus and response? So A, the stimulus, a deliberate provo provocation of an organism the response, the movement of an organism, B, an organism's exposure to sunlight, the growth, the response, the growth of the organism away from light, C, a wave of excitement in an organism, the response, locomotion of an organism, the stimulus, D, a detectable change in an organism's environment, or the response, an organism's reaction to a stimulus. So 39 would be D. 40 says, 
item four to reference to the following diagrams showing an eye's response to a stimulus and we have the before and after 40. The response is most likely brought about by A, an increase in the light intensity, B, a decrease in the light intensity, C, an object being brought nearer, D, an object being moved further away. So it would be A, an increase in the light intensity. Let's go to number 41. So item 41 refers to the following diagram. Which of the following options correctly identifies the structures labeled one, two, and three? So we know one is the receptor, two is the spinal nerve, and three is the effector. So therefore, our answer for 41 would be D. Let's go to 42. The function of the choroid layer in the eye is to A, focus most light rays, B, prevent internal reflection, C, maintain the shape of the eyeball, or D, control the amount of light entering the eye. So the answer would be B, prevent internal reflection. Let's go to number 43. Item 43 refers to the following graph which illustrates a measurement of growth in living organisms. Which of the following is an incorrect label for the x-axis? Is it A, length, B, mass, C, number of leaves, or D, units of time? So it would be D, units of time. Let's go to number 44. Item 44 refers to the following activities involved in the menstrual, menstrual cycle. One, repair of the uterine lining. Two, ovulation. Three, shedding of the uterine lining. D, four, development of the graphene follicle. So, which of the following sequences is the correct order of activities? All right, so we know it, it begins with one. It begins with the repair of the uterine lining. Then we have two ovulation. So one, then two, then three, then four. So the answer would be A. Let's go to number 45. It says, the following statements describe the process take, processes taking place within a seed during germination. One, embryo uses food to develop radical and plumule. Two, enzymes break down proteins into amino acids. Three, soluble products move into the embryo. Which of the following sequences is the correct order of the processes? So, we know it begins with two. Enzymes break down proteins into amino acids. Then three soluble products move into the embryo. And then one, embryo uses food to develop. Okay, so we have two, then three, then one, D. Let's go to number 46. The production of new organisms from one parent only is known as we know that is known as B, asexual production. 47 says, which of the following forms of birth control is most likely to be 100% effective? A, condom, B, diaphragm, C, tubal ligation, D, birth control pill. So we know it is C, tubal ligation. 48 a vector is defined as an organism that A, bites humans, B, causes diseases, C, lives on other organisms, or D, transmits disease organisms. So that is D. Let's go to number 49. Item 49 refers to the following diagrams of flowers from two different types of plants. We have them labeled one and two. 
which of the following statement is true for the flowers? A, one is pollinated by a hummingbird, two is pollinated by the wind. B, both are pollinated by a hummingbird. C, petals are absent from both one and two. D, both are wind pollinated. So, we know the answer. A, one is pollinated by a hummingbird, two is pollinated by the wind. Let's go to number 50. It says, a 60-year-old man has been diagnosed with hypertension as well as diabetes. Which of the following treatments would be most effective for the diseases? A, exercising and lowering the intake of salt and refined carbohydrates. B, spending more time watching television to relax. C, starting a rigorous exercise program. D, taking insulin injections. So we know that is A. Exercising, exercising and lowering the intake of salt and refined carbohydrates. 51. Which of the following best describes a chromosome? A. Two forms of the same gene. B. Structure made of DNA wrapped around histones. C. Nucleic acid that contains all genetic information. D. Part of the DNA which carries genetic information to produce a protein. A protein. So we know the answer is B. 52 says, as a result of mitosis, each daughter cell has A, a variable number of chromosomes, B, twice the number of chromosomes as the parent cell, C, the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, D, half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. So the answer is C. Let's go to 53. Which of the following processes will result in genetically identical offspring a cloning b mutation c fertilization or d crossing over so we know it is a cloning 54 a man with blood group a married a woman with blood group b they had two children each with blood group a b the alleles a and b are described as being so, A, homozygous, B, codominant, C, recessive, or D, dominant. So, the answer 54 is D, B, sorry. 55, variation in a population is due to 1, mutation, 2, crossing over, 3, asexual production. So it would be one and two. So that's A only. 56. Which of the following features is not a char characteristics of mososis? A, maintenance of the diploid number. B, genetic recombination of alleles. C, crossing over of chromosomes. Or D, random assortment of genes. So the answer is A. Let's go to number 57. Tarzan and Jane, both of whom are heterozygous for food groups A and B respective, can have offspring that are likely to be. So it is B, D, 25% A, 25% B, 25% AB, 25% O. 58. Which of the following descriptions is true about natural and artificial selection? So, the answer for 58 is going to be C. Produces great biological diversity, and the artificial selection produces very different organisms from natural populations. 59 says, a species is best defined as a group of organisms that A, can interbreed and produce fertile offspring, B, can interbreed and produce many offspring. C, are physically similar. D, cannot interbreed. So we know it is A, can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. Let's take our final question now. It says, item 60 refers to the following diagram, 
which shows stages 1, 2, 3, and 4 in the production of insulin by genetic engineering. So, in which of the stages above can insulin be produced by the bacterium? So, is it at 1? Is it at 2? Is it at 3? Or is it at 4? So we know it is at four. So the answer would be D. So there we have it. We have completed the entire CSEC biology, May, June 2018, paper one. Thank you so much for watching.